Hey folks, Mike Frisch here from Fishing the Midwest TV. And what I'm gonna talk about for a little bit today is one of my favorite walleye fishing methods. And it's one that's really, really productive for me as well. It's what's called the plane rig. And the plane rig, what it features is a bottom bouncer and a plane snell. And when I say plane snell, what I'm talking about is a two hook harness for a night crawler with no spinner, no bead, nothing other than just the two hooks. So right here is my plane rig. All right, and if you look at this, a couple tips or a couple keys that I'm gonna share with you today. Here it is right here. It's just my plane rig, two hooks for a night crawler. A couple key things to this. First of all, use a heavy bottom bouncer. The general rule of thumb is for every 10 feet of water depth, you want a, an ounce of bouncer. So up to about 10 feet, a one ounce bouncer, 20 feet, a two ounce bouncer, 30 feet, a three ounce bouncer. And a lot of people think that that's a really heavy bouncer, and it is, but it's important, and I'll explain why in a little bit. So here's my bottom bouncer. It's about a 40 inch Snell. This is 10 pound P-line tactical fluorocarbon to two number four hooks, all right? I take that crawler, I double hook it, and I drop it to the bottom. Now this is where it's really important. I wanna let out a left, enough line with my bouncer to get it down to the bottom, all right? And it's not gonna do it here very well, but I let out enough line, and I'm just gonna let it go. But I let out enough line so that that bouncer stays on bottom, but not a bunch of line so it's dragging way out behind the boat. What I tell folks when I'm guiding is, we want it at about a 45 degree angle. Here's what that does. When you fish your bouncer at a 45 degree angle, it does two things. Number one, it stutters along bottom, which the first advantage is stuttering on bottom, it's really, really snag resistant. It'll go over rocks, over timber, even come through weeds pretty well. But you gotta keep it on that fairly short line at that 45 degree angle. Here's the second key component. If you stutter that bottom bouncer along bottom, it gives that night crawler a great stuttering stop and go bait fish action, and that really triggers the walleyes into biting. So I get it down to the bottom, 45 degree angle, keep it there. I go about eight tenths of a mile an hour or up to a mile an hour. I look for fish on the Humminbird electronics, and when I see them, I'll make quick passes back and forth through them. When the fish hit it, lots of times it'll be a distinct thud, or sometimes the rod just loads. All I do is I slowly drop the rod tip back to them. You don't have to feed them line. You don't have to set the rod all the way back. Just grudgingly, I say, give them pressure. Let the rod load after maybe five seconds. Usually the fish is hooked itself. Sweep set the hook and reel it in. So again, the keys, heavy bouncer. The two and three ounce sizes, they're my favorites. I use those from 15 to about 35 foot. Again, a two ounce or a three ounce bottom bouncer. Two, two, two hook harness, plain snell, dual hook that crawler, eight tenths of a mile an hour, and you are in business. Great thing about this rig, it's easy to fish, and it is my go-to rig, whether I'm filming television shows or I'm guiding for walleyes in the summer. It works from, oh, say, Memorial Day weekend all the way till late fall, when the water gets down to that 51, 52 degree range. That's when I switch to a jig and minnow. But until then, this rig will work, so it'll work well into September. Now, here's the other thing that's important. You don't have to spend a ton of money on your rod reel setup. This is actually the new Lose Speed Stick. This is a bottom bouncer specialty. This rod was particularly designed for this technique. This rod is about 100 bucks, so you don't gotta break the bank. In fact, you'd probably get it for a little less than that. But you don't have to break the bank, but it's lightweight, it's sensitive, it does a great job. I pair it with the Lose Bait Caster, and I'm in business. So, plane rig. Try it this summer. Get out on the edges of Main Lake structure, the edges of sunken humps in the islands, also along the outside edge of the weed line or shoreline drop-offs, eight-tenths of a mile an hour, bait it with crawler, and you're probably going to get into some walleye gold this summer. Mike Frisch, Fishing the Midwest TV. Enjoy your time on the water, and again, as always, include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure.